Many Sertoma clubs host regular membership meetings and special annual recognition ceremonies. They also participate in banquets at regional conventions. And if you've been involved in putting one of these events together, you know that there are a lot of details that go into the process. With so much to consider, it's easy to get overwhelmed. That's why we put together the following guidelines and suggestions to help ensure the success of your next Sertoma event. We could talk all day about what it takes to plan a successful meeting. No two meetings are the same, and therefore what they require can vary greatly. However, there are four basic tenets that we'll look at today that can help you put together a more effective and enticing meeting program. This includes your planning 101, the basics, building member involvement, creating attractive programming, and actively promoting your meetings. Just like in real estate, location is everything when it comes to meeting planning. The meeting location should be selected with the event in mind, rather than trying to make the events fit the space. You'll want to visit the location prior to signing a contract to make sure that it has ample parking and a staff willing and able to work with your club's needs. The meeting space itself should be well lit, well ventilated, and accessible to all attending. You'll need to make sure that the room is set to your specifications. This includes the room layout. Here you can choose from the banquet style with its round tables, theater style with rows of chairs, classroom style with tables and long rows, or conference style with attendees seated around a large table. Let's take a look at your planning checklist. Keep in mind that some of these will be part of planning all of your meetings, while others may only apply to your larger events. First, and probably most obviously, you'll need to pick your date, time, and place. We've already discussed place, but when it comes to your date and time, it might be helpful to do a periodic poll to make sure that when your meeting still works for a majority of your members. Get estimates for event space, food, speakers, entertainment, AV, and whatever else you need, and then set or follow your budget accordingly. Plan the agenda or formal program. Keep your schedule flowing, but remember that you'll need to be flexible. If it's a special event, you'll need to put together your guest list. Make sure to include dignitary speakers, guests, and any other notable figures. Then you'll want to prepare the invitations, including any RSVP or registration information and deadlines. Review your AV needs and order appropriately from your meeting staff. For most club meetings, you may never need anything more than a microphone. Your needs will likely be a little more complex for your larger events. You'll also want to work with a banquet manager to select your menu and room layout. Assign and brief on-site volunteers. They need to know what they're doing before they get there when possible. Order or print programs, signage, name tags, and any other necessary materials. And finally, organize an event script if necessary. Make sure that everyone speaking has a copy at least one week prior to the event. Now that we've been over the basics, let's look at how we can actually get people there. This starts with making our meetings more inclusive. As I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure that you're choosing days and times that work for a majority of your members. You also want to have your meetings in places that are comfortable and accommodating to all your various needs. This includes appropriate parking and accessibility needs. Once you've got that in place, you can start to think about what will actually attract your attendees. We'll go over programming a little bit more in depth in a few moments, but in general, you wanna make sure that your speakers and activities are interesting and meaningful. Be welcoming. This is an important tenet of any membership organization. Make your members feel special by personally inviting them to meetings and special events when possible. Encourage them to bring friends or guests who might be interested in joining or participating in your Sertoma club. You should put special efforts toward your newest members and any potential recruits you've been in touch with. And for those who can't make it, keep them in the loop of what's going on by putting out meaningful recaps and detailed status reports. All of this is to say that you should be thorough and deliberate in your communications. Use multiple channels to reach out to your members to better your chances that your club's activities will stay top of mind. Programming is king. As I said earlier, you need to make sure that your speakers and activities are interesting and meaningful. Otherwise, it can be difficult to get your members to keep coming back. Thankfully, there are many ideas for speakers out there. Let's take a look at just a few of them. First off, elected officials can be a great draw, especially during an election cycle. You'll need to be careful not to venture into lobbying or fundraising, but in general, having them give legislative and programmatic updates can help your club stay abreast of what's going on in your community. Local businesses can provide speakers focused on unique products and services in your local area. This can also be a great way to build partnerships and find sponsors. What other nonprofits are at work in your area? From health agencies to children's charities to local environmental causes, learning more from these potential partners may just lead to your next community initiative. Who has your club helped? Invite them in to talk about their experience and to give an update. 
This helps your members better understand personally the impact their work and financial support has right there at home. Bring a little bit of art to your next meeting by inviting local musicians, a theater troupe, or museum staff. This can be a fun break from the norm. And don't forget, regional and national Sertoma leadership might be a good option to consider. Your regional director in particular can help provide a local view of the national picture. Your final key for success is to promote your meeting. I would suggest considering a 360 degree approach here. This means that you're communicating to your members about your upcoming events from all angles. After all, we're all busy and it's easy to forget things. However, if we're constantly in front of our members, we increase our chances of staying top of mind and making it on their calendars. At the beginning of each calendar year or fiscal year, publish your tentative meeting schedule. Then create a communication strategy that includes many touch points, such as your newsletter, email reminders, and social media. You should also use your meetings to verbally remind people about upcoming events and put those dates on the agenda. The phone can also be a great tool for reaching out to members to invite them to club meetings. This is especially true for those that you don't see that often. Create a team of volunteers tasked with calling members to remind them about upcoming events. A personal invitation can really make a difference. As you leave today, here are a few final tips to keep in mind. Your agenda is there to guide your meeting. Let it. It will tell you when to start your meeting, when to end your meeting, and what should come in between. And of course, make sure to share it with everyone ahead of time so that they come prepared. Stay positive. Your best meetings happen when you're working in an inclusive and inviting environment where everyone is encouraged to participate. Don't stifle ideas unless necessary. Remember, your goal should be to involve as many as people as possible, as long as the conversation is relevant. Be transparent when you can. This means making your minutes available to your members. You should also consider posting a summary on your website if you have one. Not sure what to include in your minutes? Reach out to Sertoma staff for some help on this topic. And finally, make sure someone's in charge. Most of the time your president will preside over your club meetings, acting as a sort of facilitator to keep the meeting running smoothly. Just make sure to appoint someone as a backup in case he or she can't be there. And with that, we wrap up today's training. We're pleased to offer additional sessions on this and many other topics in our training library at members.sertoma.org. You can also join the conversation in our members-only group on Facebook by using the link on your screen.